I should probably repair that. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh. You. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... she came off a tad intimidating. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked... man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, alright? I tried. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see you report. It's just... You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk to the clerk or something. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. Which one was it? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. Please. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it 
it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! Beast, stop this. Right now. This isn't the way to handle things. What do you know? You don't have anybody! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm not- ah! Hey. Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! I knew you were sneaking around. I don't want to hurt you, so just calm down and- Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! You don't want to see this. Shit. What is it? Oh, oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty? What? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Was anyone acting suspicious? Maybe moving a heavy piece of luggage, or... Uh, he got the body out of here somehow. Jesus Christ! No, no, I didn't see anything like that. It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But- Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. The flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. I can't believe this. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. 
Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and the weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? He brought wine. Classy. rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then... and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? The rips in the dress make me think our Mr. Smith likes to play hard. He's a violent man. You need the dress to tell you that? He's got a thing about snow, and he's got a thing about violence. I think that much was already clear. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Maybe she didn't see it coming. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this! Please, just do whatever you need to do, and let's get out of here. Damn it. Get it together, beauty. Be strong. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? There's only one bite taken out of the apple. Whoever was eating it didn't get to finish. I think that might have been Lily. Mr. Smith attacked her while she was eating. He just jumped her while she was eating. It just keeps getting worse. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff too. Killing her while she's eating? What? I guess she must have been doing it wrong or something. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Are those pictures of the dead girl? How do you know? 
I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. 